Big L tonight. Big, big L. I tried to tell you guys, man. I tried to tell all of you that these stupid retro jerseys were gonna be the worst thing to happen to the Leafs this year. I told you, okay? I don't care who else lost tonight. It doesn't even matter to me, AKZ. I'm sorry, all right? That was horrible. Not how they played. They played great, loved it. Not what happened at the end. It's bound to happen sometimes. Edmonton's gonna be a tough team. I already said that before too. They're like our Agent Smith to our Neo. Okay, that's what's going on right now in the North. Trust me, I tried to tell you guys this. These retro jerseys are a bad, bad idea. Anybody who watched the game tonight, could you even see the leaf? Could you even see that from the actual like wide angle? Obviously when they zoom in, you can see everything. It's high definition, let's go. But when you're watching that actual game, can you see this at all? The gray looks stupid. And what's worse, the thing I didn't even think about when I first started making fun of these jerseys, okay? The thing I didn't even think about was the stupid numbers on the back are blue too. <laughs> I can't tell who anybody is. Other than like maybe Nylander's flow popping out. Maybe Bogosian's mane sticking out when he's on D or something like that, right? But even then Hall's got kind of the same thing going on from that far back. It's brutal. How many more games do we have of this? What, six more? We gotta wear those dumb things? <laughs> I told you guys, man, I told you. Stupid, stupid, stupid. So I blame that for this loss and any other losses we get while wearing it this season. Mark my words, okay? If it's a losing record for the games that we win, or that we wear these jerseys for the rest of the season, I'm gonna lose it, okay? I may be wrong. Maybe it was just the first time wearing them, so everyone's just kind of getting, getting used to them a little bit. But if this ends up being a losing record for the games that they wear those stupid retros, okay? I'm coming after EA. Or not EA, sorry, the NHL in this case. <laughs> I'm always chirping EA. <laughs> no, not them. I'm coming after the Toronto uh, PR department, all right? You guys need help. Whoever came up with this idea, you need help, man. You don't watch hockey. You don't. You cannot tell me you watch hockey and you design those jerseys. Awful. <laughs> They're awful. The worst out of all of them that they're doing this year. By far. I don't even like Edmonton's. That orange thing looks stupid, but at the same time, at least you could clearly see who's who on the ice. Okay? <laughs> so not only did they lose, but I gotta sit there and like try and watch that garbage. Right? As a viewer, I have to sit there and try and like squint my old lot my old eyes and try and figure out who's who. It's brutal. Shut up. <laughs> Come on, any nu any number of you guys in the chat right now could do a better job than that. I could give you the EA controls right now. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Beaster boy, what's up? What's up? Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> thanks for the follow, man. Oh, man. Oh, jeez, that always freaks me out. Uh, so I guess I'm ranting too much about that. You're probably trying to shut me up. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, we'll move on. Forget the jerseys for a second, okay? Um... Hyman was wearing an A though tonight. Did anybody else notice that? Since when did that happen? I thought it was just supposed to be uh, obviously our captain, and then we got um, uh, Riley, and then we have uh, a combination of Matthews and Marner. So like they swap off for that third one. And all of a sudden I see Hyman wearing an A tonight. So I didn't notice who lost theirs in order to make up for that, but uh, hey, good on him. I love Hyman. Most underrated contract in the league. In the league. Totally. Right? So, uh, yeah, I don't know. That was, that was pretty cool to see. Unless I was tripping and saw somebody else. But I swear Hyman was, who was rocking that A today. Again, it was hard to see because there's freaking blue on blue. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh. Uh, and then, yeah, so you had that, that sick goal, right? We had McDavid's huge goal. That was good. Why? That's two highlight real goals that will go down in like infamy as being some sick goals in his career. Two now have been against the Leafs. You had the one against Riley, which is one of the sickest ankle breaking goals I've ever seen in the NHL. I hate to say it because it's against us, but you know it's true. That is one of the best goals of all time. All right. And then this one, he walked through all four guys, man. He walked through all four guys. Nobody touched him. You know? Man, as a goalie, I feel like if that was a breakaway with nobody on the ice in front of Anderson, he might have stopped it. 
when he knows it's up to him and only him the entire time because it's like okay it's a shootout situation i could probably get that right uh to have four of your players in front of him on a penalty kill and they he just went right through the middle like <laughs> as a goal you're freaking out you're just like wait what oh my god and then good luck trying to save that that was brutal, brutal play. But at the same time, uh, look at the guy. He flies. It's the way he touches the puck so effortlessly. And no, I'm not going to shut up about it, beaster boy. <laughs> uh, but, you know, that's that's it, you know? And yeah, you can, you can make the joke, it's the Leafs. That's what I expect. Uh, that's what we should expect. Uh, and you know what? That's honestly fair point. How many highlights of the best or um the weirdest or any of those kinds of top tens how many of those goals are against toronto it's so many i've, I've grown up seeing them all man oh it chugged the bottle uh before i begin this next part i do want to say i'm not blaming the refs for this loss okay it was a very close game could have gone either way went down to ot edmonton pulled it out respect to him the win is theirs Okay, but how about that uh, Austin Matthews spinorama? Do you guys like that? Matthews is so good at doing the spinorama. He doesn't even do, he doesn't even need to do it by himself. He gets the other team to help him do it. In this case, all he had to do was just skate, and he had the Edmonton Oilers guy just grab his arm and spin him 900 degrees. <laughs> Pulled a sweet 900 right there in front of everybody, right in front of the ref, right in front of the ref. No call, no call. But then, if you guys notice, though, see, this is what I'm saying. I'm not complaining because very shortly after that, Edmonton took a holding call down the opposite end. That was really weak. That was a weak call. If you ever read the Wayne Gretzky uh, autobiography from the 90s, I'm sorry, I'm old, but it's out there. You guys can read it. Um, he talks about a Revlon goal, okay? A Revlon goal in the NHL. This is what the players would call it back then. Who knows what they call it now? Um, or Maybelline, if you will, right? These are makeup companies. So to call a goal a, Rev a Revlon or a penalty, sorry, uh, a Revlon penalty, right? What you're saying is the ref screwed up by not calling that one. So now they're finding anything they can on Edmonton to make it up to us because that was brutal. <laughs> that was a brutal non-call, right? So, but like I said, I'm not complaining about what what effect it had on the game because they gave us one right after that. So the refs made good on that. That's what you're supposed to do. All right, that's the unwritten code of refereeing. Trust me, there's a code for those guys too. And that's exactly it. Um, what else though, guys? You guys saying, no, you were saying the Anderson, oh my goodness. Oh, some saves there, eh, buds? Like, <laughs> I love this guy, love this guy. In fact, they got too many shots on him tonight. It was pretty, they were on pace, Edmonton was after the first for being like close to 40 shots. So rough first period right there. Boys can't give up that many. Um, and then they did get Edmonton to dial it back a little bit, and then they increased theirs as well too. But I mean, I mean, I'd like to see it well below 30 if you can. That's when you know you're dominating another team defensively if you can keep their shots below 30, right? They could still be scoring three goals on you with like low shots, but I mean, then you got to look at yourselves and be like, okay, we're screwing up here. But at least you know if you're holding them down in shots, right? That like any goals they get are probably going to be just pretty lucky. At least you know you're doing the right thing. You know, it's a good sign. So. Um, that was the opposite tonight loaded up on shots in the first period and then boom right um, two goals right was it in the first I forget something like that Edmonton got the lead so you don't want to see that happen cut that out because Anderson man he can make those beauty saves and he shouldn't have to make them all the time don't start relying on that you know he works best when he's in, when he's got a team in front of him that works as hard as he does some goalies are like that they're not all carry price in his prime you know all right, some goalies, like, they cannot be a superstar every night, right? doesn't mean they're not superstars. It just means you've got to work equally hard in front of them. He deserves that. All goalies do, but some of them are so good that you could pretty much screw up four or five times a week and then, like, you know, he's still bailing you out because uh, some goalies are just blessed like that, right? Um, so, yeah, Cooks, you're saying that the Freddy haters are silenced. Absolutely, I, I agree there. Um, what else are you guys saying? Yeah, it worked. the work ethic was great. Like I said, no complaints about any of that stuff. Um, oh, you're talking Beaster Boy. Gonna talk. Why are you bringing up the high stick? <laughs> I'm not bringing up the high stick. Beaster Boy's talking about that high stick back in the '90s, right? Mr. Gretzky taking it out, taking it out on Gilmore. Trust me, dude. Uh, you'll meet plenty of Leafs fans that think that they got robbed that year because of that. 
and okay it's a non-call again should have happened but there was an entire other game at home right that toronto had to win it don't act like that's a game seven if that's a game seven that's a, that's a referee screw job for sure if that gretzky thing and if, for those of you who don't know you can look up look it up afterwards not so new to hut what's up we're talking about the gretzky goal back in the day for a second here Okay, because I do like to get into this because for any of you non-Leafs fans that are sick and tired of hearing Leafs fans whine and complain about that goal, you're absolutely right. And if you ever catch a Leaf fan whining and complaining about that, th that situation, like they were robbed of some sort of cup, okay, you have my full permission to slaughter them with every insult I've ever used against you guys. <laughs> All right. Anything I've ever said to you guys, right? Any kind of like thing that might have embarrassed you, might have stung a little bit. I promise you, you can take those words and you can use them right at that kind of Leafs fan. I fully support it. They need to man up. All right, get over it, man. So I'm with you. I'm with you. Don't worry about that. Um, because yeah, Leafs had an entire game seven at home to win that. Right? Didn't come down to one play. Um, so back to the present day, though. I mean, that's where I'm at with that. Um, let's see what's going on. You guys were talking in the Discord earlier. Love that. Um... You know, and Sidley, now that you're like one of the subs, right? Sidley, you're welcome to come on the voice chat thing at any point. Uh, just let me know you want in and we can try and dial you in, man. Uh, for those of you who don't know, you got to subscribe to the channel in order to get to be on the voice chat thing where we can actually sit down and have a conversation about what we saw here tonight. Uh, Sidley's already jumped in on that, ready to go in terms of just having access. Uh, and you can too. You can too, all right? And we're keeping it to the subs just because, like, I want to make sure that if people are in, that they're for real, okay? I'm not saying you got to be nice to me the whole time. We can, you know, go back and forth and have a little bit of fun. But I'm just saying, at least if you're subbed to the channel and then you come on, like, for a voice thing about the game, I know you're not just going to fly off the handle and just, like, start screaming, man. My old ears can't take it, right? <laughs> that stuff works better on Instagram where I can read it at my own quiet volume level. And I can fully prepare my statement back to you because if we ever did that live, I'd probably be ripped to shreds. All right? <laughs> all right well there you go guys so what are you guys saying then what do you guys really think is going on what do you were you, were you super pumped about that going into overtime were you worried in overtime you know let me see what you guys are saying um highlight your message nice you got that in there cooks see using up those channel things i love it uh most of the whiners don't go far enough back for that to be a wound you know what you're absolutely right my biggest collection of leaf fans that drive me nuts the ones that really drive me nuts okay oh ryan you're a leafs fan how can you tra trash out the leafs fans it's easy man there's so many bad ones because we're such a huge fan base that that same 25 percent of us that are jerks or whiners or whatever else like any other sports team okay is amplified by like a hundred because across canada we're number one we're number one then maybe montreal in certain parts other than montreal obviously but certain places will cheer for Montreal more than they do Toronto. But we're the top two, man. You know, everybody loves us. So <laughs> our 25% is like 100 times more people than yours. Back off, all right? Doesn't mean we all suck. I, tr I promise me. <laughs> I promise you. Um, yeah, silly. when am I going to do the Discord talk? I'm ready if you want to come on, bud. Do you want me to call you? I'll get you in on here. You want to be a caller? I'm down. I'm excited because I, I haven't tried this out yet. Don't know if it's going to work. You know? Ooh. Just let me know in the chat if you want in, dude, and then we'll set it up. Um, but absolutely, man. Like, uh... Jeez, I'm clicking all kinds of screens. Getting lost here. See, I'm starting to get too complicated. I'm gonna have to get Mrs. True Believer in here one of these times to run this stuff for me. Right? I'm starting to get too complicated with all this stuff. Uh... Yeah, you're not looking for love. You're looking for the Leafs lifting Stanley. <laughs> And Beast Boy, you're singing Leverage here from Montreal. Uh, cheer for the Leafs before you go for Montreal. Hey, for everybody in the chat, Beast Boy, just let them know who uh, who you're a fan of. All right? And I promise you, we're going to rip your team to shreds. But at the same time, it's out of respect. Okay? Uh, okay, you're playing on Chell right now, Sidley. No worries, man. Like I said, I'll be on for a little while here. We're just hanging out for a little bit. But, uh, um, yeah, if, if you don't want to do it now, I'll catch you next time or whatever. But like, like I said, you're sub to the channel. So you got access to that, all right? I know you're for real and you're legit, okay? That's that. That's why I know. So um, play some chill, man. It's all good. I'm holding my chill stuff to the Fridays. So if you were coming here for the first couple times thinking like, oh, uh, sometimes he's going to get some games in after this stuff and everything like that. Like, no, I'm, I'm saving that to just Fridays. 
um because i got other things going on as well too so these these are just quick ones after each game um leafs game that is and then fridays will still be for the video games and we just had an awesome one past, uh, this past friday um in case you missed it it's up on youtube at least part of it um we get to talk to a longtime fan of the channel friend of the channel in fact uh alex right he came out we played a few games of the uh ea shl drop-ins um so that's been uh, that was a lot of fun and you can be a part of it too all right this is i'm telling you uh, i'm into the whole production value thing and maybe that makes you guys think that like uh i'm a little less approachable or whatever like no man <laughs> Now, there's a direct line on Instagram. You can come out anytime. There's a Discord thing as well uh, for the regular Discord. Let me get the let me get the the basic one for everybody here, and I'll invite you guys all in right now, so we can do that as well. Okay. So like, look, see this. Boom. So there's a Discord right now. That's for everybody to join in. I hope. Otherwise, I just gave you access to the voice chat one by mistake for everybody. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm old. I'm old. It's a miracle I even can work a microphone. Let's be real here, all right? So you're saying I'll do it later tonight, but the problem is I probably won't be on later, Sidley. So like I said, but uh, um, you know what though? Like even when I'm doing the video game stuff, if you're a sub to the channel, man, we can always just chat on Discord. Even if you're like, uh, you're not playing in each other. You just want to talk. Give me some opinions about the Leafs. Cause I love hearing from you guys, man. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Stanley in the chat there. You're saying uh, I got to set up a, a voice channel. No, I got one. I got one, but you got to sub. You got a sub and you get it. All right. <laughs> uh, not old vintage. Thanks, Cooks. Thanks, Cooks. That makes me feel good, man. Vintage. I like that. But like real vintage, not that crap you saw tonight. By the way, can we just talk for a second? All right. About how it's called a reverse retro jersey. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> what is that? Reverse retro. So future. Right. Like <laughs> What is that? Oh, it's reverse retro. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm reverse old. What do you think about that? <laughs> That's what retro is. Old. It's a fancy way of saying it because it's like not old, not ancient, but old. Like it's usually like the generation right before yours you would consider retro. For, and that changes for everybody as you get older, right? Retro is within the last 10 years, 20 years, maybe. Right? Specifically. I never saw any of that stuff in the previous 20 years. Think about that. That leaf, that leaf that they have on tonight. That's from the 60s, bro. That's not retro. That's vintage or classic. Words have meaning, guys. When stupid PR people for million dollar companies like Toronto Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment get to have a job, right? Probably getting paid pretty good to come up with this stuff. And they come up with reverse retro. Or I guess like it's for the NHL in this case, reverse retro, that whole concept. We'll put it out to the teams. This year they have to come up with a reverse retro jersey. Oh man, it's brilliant. And then like I said, well, some people are doing it right. I kind of get the concept with the way some of it is done, right? I kind of get the concept, but um, but straight up, man, for the Leafs, they're grabbing stuff from the 60s, mixing it in with the 80s, nothing matches. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. We're supposed to set the tone. We have one of the coolest jerseys in the NHL, okay? We have one of the coolest jerseys in the NHL because Pretty much all the original six are sweet to me. They just scream hockey, right? Because they've just refused to change for the most part. You know, they refuse to change that look. Basic stripes on the sides. You know, sometimes they have a collar, sometimes they don't. Uh, you know, sometimes they have one bar on the waist, sometimes they have two. These are the very simple things, right? The original six teams love the jerseys. So for how do you, how do you come up with an abomination like this? I'll never know. I'll never know. Someone got paid to come up with that and any one of you could probably could have got paid better to come up with one on NHL 21 there Straight up Sidley. What's going on man? Are you into this or what? I think you said you were coming back. I'll tell you what I'll try and do. Let's try and do this What are you saying VC? Yeah, okay. You want me to do a direct one? Let's try this Can I do that? How do I like call you bro? Can you go into the puck talk one? Hey, Sid. I think you can, right? You should be able to get into one that's called uh, puck talk. If you can get in there, let me know in the chat. And if you can't, then I'll sort something out, man. Maybe, maybe I have to invite you to it. Do I have to do that? I can do it. How about this? You just got invited, bro. 
just got invited, Sidley. How about this? I'm clicking on so many buttons now, guys. Uh, what are you saying, Beaster? Oh. <laughs> um, uh, autocorrect's messing with your stuff, eh? Yeah, Boston's grabbing stuff from the 90s, eh? So, like, that's retro, though. That's within retro years. 90s is where this one should have been at. If anything, y'all should have had that leaf on this jersey that, like, was my generation growing up. That's retro. <sighs> um, yeah, again, Stanley, I'm telling you, man, the reason why you can't see the voice chat one is because it's for the subscribers only. You got to subscribe to the channel if you want in on that. I'm trying to, like, prove it by getting uh, Sidley on here. <laughs> trying to prove it. And it ain't working. Or maybe he's not reaching out. I don't know, guys. But I do want you guys to be part of the chat and stuff. I'm really looking forward to doing this. And that's why we're just kind of working it out, you know? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying, Peaster. Like, I'm telling you, man. Like, it can get real volatile in a hurry if people are going to come on the way that they do on uh, on Instagram. And I'm not trying to do that on Twitch. I'm trying to keep it lighthearted, man. You know? So the only way that I can know for sure that everyone's going to be chill, right? Because you can make fun of the Leafs. I'm not saying you got to, like kiss my butt you know what I mean like <laughs> I'm not looking for suck-ups you could be uh, you have a difference of opinion I don't even censor people men people come on here and they have the the voice chat going with the uh, the video games on the Friday hey you can always do that too if you don't want to like sub for that then always come out on the Fridays when I'm playing the video games I'll be happy to play with you we'll do the voice chat th for the game you know what I mean like I I'm down to other things too I'm always trying to look out for you guys in the long run I'm trying to make it a good experience you know but part of the whole like twitch thing is like People like access to different things, like even the uh, the uh, um, the, uh, the emotes there, the custom ones, right? You get some of those for being in the subs or for unlocking them in the channel stuff. I'm just trying to make it cool for people, man. And with beats like this, how can you deny it? How can you deny it? You can't, right? <laughs> All right. So what's going on here? Am I in this? I don't even know if I'm in it now. Yeah, I am. All right, well, Sidney, like, man, where are you? You were in the chat a moment ago. I thought we were about to get down to this. You know what I mean? Because I really didn't bring any freestyle skills tonight. So, it's not like I could just kill time on here forever. Uh, yeah, I, you said you think, I think yeah, I need to send you an invite. I totally did. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see. I mean it's locked. Alright, then can we do it directly to each other? Can we just call each other? Huh? Can we do that? Did I unlock it for you now? Oh man, this stuff is so complicated. Yeah, Sidley, I see you're trying, man. I can see it now, trust me. I know he's trying, guys. He's trying to help out right now. He's trying to make it legit. I appreciate this. This kind of stuff I usually go over with my boy, uh, producer Aaron. You guys have seen him for the YouTube stuff and everything like that, and even some of the Twitch stuff uh, in the beginning. But, like, straight up. Okay, so you're sending me something here. I'm going to get to this. Where is it? Let's do this. Yep. I see where you're going with this. That's how that works, huh? Now, I should be able to what? Yeah, there we go. There we go. You got it. Hello? Yo, we did it! <laughs> Sidley, what's going on, man? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just really pumped. That, like, I suck at all this technological crap, you know? I'm good at, like, the camera, the lights, the microphone, you know what I mean? Setting up, like, stuff like that. But all the computer stuff, I'm only just learning now. So I really appreciate you uh, uh, setting that up there with me. That was awesome. So how, what do you think, man? What'd you see tonight? Let me know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I would say so. And sorry, what? The jerseys are awful? <laughs> well, thanks, man. I appreciate you agreeing with me on that there. <laughs> but uh, totally, totally like, um, I don't know, man. Freddy stood on his head so many times. It was just really great to see, eh? 
And uh, where'd you watch from tonight? Oh, wait, you know what? People can't hear you, dude. Wait, people can't hear you. They're, they're letting me know right now. Okay, so wait. Oh, man, don't tell me I have to have something set up on Discord. Sorry, Sidley, we're sorting this out, dude, but you're you're here. You're having it with me here. So at least the audience knows I can hear you. Uh, Yes, okay, see? Yeah, Stanley's coming through for me. He's telling me exactly what to do. So um, I have to add it as an audio source, right, in OBS. But yo, I already got that. Like, what if I go like this? Try testing it out now. Silly, say something. Nope, still don't have you. Wait, say it again. No, nope, not working. Oh my god. Oh my god, what are we doing here? Guys, honestly, Twitch is difficult. <laughs> this stuff ain't easy, man. Um, no. Oh, not an input. How about an output source? Yes, oh, that's what you said, right? Uh, I'm telling you, I'll, I'll get this. I'll get this. Let's peace out on this for a second here. Remove this. Oh, guys, this is fun. Totally fun to do live here on the internet, too. It's a great idea. I highly recommend it to anybody. You know? This is how you want to live your life. Stressed out on the internet, trying to figure out what you're doing. All right, hang on. No, man! It's not an option in OBS. I don't know how to do this. Is it a web source that I gotta put in? No, come on. This can't be right. Holy jumping. Guys, nobody said this stuff was gonna be so difficult. <laughs> uh, what if I put it in streamer mode? Does that help? I won't worry about that yet. All right, let me know in the chat. What's going on? What am I doing wrong? Piece of boy saying I should take a computer class and learn how to do this stuff. Yo, you know what? You might be on something there. You might really be on something there. Uh, Sid, are you still with me, man? All right, man. Hang on. What if I go like this? Uh, say something now, bud. Oh, that you guys had to have heard that, right? You guys got to have heard that now, right? I saw I saw a thing go up in the meters when you spoke. That's always a good sign. Let me check in the chat, guys. We might have just figured this out. Where are you at? Someone, someone, give me a thumbs up if you uh, if you hear if you hear him. Say something again, d there, dude. Uh, at least forever. Oh, you heard that, right, guys? Come on, you had to have heard that. I saw a meter go up for it, like independent of mine. Yeah, there we go. All right. Thanks to everybody in the chat who really helped out there. Stanley and, uh, and Beaster Boy for talking and stuff like that. And uh, and I, obviously uh, for Sidley here for hanging out until we finally got this sorted out live on the show. Sidley, tell him again where it's at. What'd you see tonight? Uh, it was a good game. Mm -hmm. You could tell like Edmonton was hungry for it. <laughs> Played horrible this season. Yep. Uh, I was nervous going, I knew like going into the OT that it wasn't going to be good for them because McDavid and Dreisaitl was just... Wait, McDavid and who? Powered McDavid and who? Dreisaitl. Who's that? Dreisaitl. I'm just messing with you, bro. I've been messing with people all week saying, who's who's that guy? Who's that guy? And it's just make, been making them so mad, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, man. Yeah. <laughs> Because Edmonton fans really want their yeah. players to get recognition more than anything, right? Now, they got McDavid, who's obviously, like, the best. But, like, nobody else gets that kind of yeah. recognition because he's on the team. So, I just like messing with them. But, yeah, you're totally right, dude. I, I definitely think you're right on that one. Um, like, I still think, no matter what, that Freddie was the best player of the whole game. Yeah, yeah, still totally. Head, oh, some of those saves are beautiful, eh, dude? Dude, the final one, just before the buzzer ended in regulation i was like holy crap <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah like insane save oh man uh the one where he saved it and then slid way out of the net because like that's how much energy he needed to get over in time like by the time that like the yeah. the play had flipped around the other way he was like over in the corner almost with i think riley or somebody he had slid so far but like 
what a save though it was amazing yeah so definitely dude i uh um i'm happy we got that one for sure uh, really, he, he got those saves and we got that one point you know yeah it sucks that we have to wear those jerseys though yeah 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 <laughs> I've been ra- dude i didn't expect to rant that much about it like i was going to talk about it but like i really got into it i can't stand those things <laughs> I wish they would just like stick with the same pads. I feel like that's like the classic jersey. It's probably one of their best. Yeah, yeah. Um, or like sometimes they've done the arenas thing okay. You know, I yeah. I, I, I know that there's there's uh, that there's been some vintage style ones in the past that looked pretty cool. My favorite, honestly, is the um, that white one with the with the really veiny leaf. You know what I mean? Like um, with the blue shoulders. The Leafs were yeah. rocking it a little bit in like the early 2010s and stuff as their third jersey. I like that one. They're, uh, like uh, some sort of combination of that. But yeah, certainly these. Uh, the the, sorry? Like the Stadium Series jerseys from a couple of years ago. Those were something else. Like oh, jeez! <laughs> the the all white ones. Back. Yeah, the all white ones. Those were brutal too. Those were brutal too, man. Absolutely. Um. So yeah, like, I, I I don't know who gets paid to make these things, but like I'm serious. Any one of you guys could probably make a better one in NHL 21 right now, right now. If you got to design it from scratch and then they just threw the Leafs logo on there, you could make a better version of their jersey for sure. Um, yeah, yeah. So all right, man. Well, that's it. That's awesome. Thanks for sticking around for so long to get that uh, operational, and uh, I'm glad we got to hear from you. I think yeah. we just had someone else join the crew now. Uh, Stanley's just subscribed, man. I really appreciate that. So uh, let's make sure you have access to the Discord and everything like that as well, too. Hopefully, it won't take this long and everything. We'll probably just end up doing a personal call instead. I think that's what I might do. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. That's probably the best way to go about it, eh, Sid? Yeah. Maybe uh, group chat with... Uh, well, I got the group chat then. Yeah, so I got the group chat. I just have to make sure that you guys are actually allowed in and set the... What is it they called again? The... Um, uh, per- not permissions. What do they call it? They got a name for it. Whatever those things set those up for you guys anyways thanks a lot bud and we'll talk again soon okay yeah yeah thanks man go Leafs go yep how about that guys that's sick I can't believe that not only can we do that but you guys just help me do that live on the internet like (laughs) I should have all that sorted out by now and yet you know here we are and you guys are just able to chat away and be like yo you idiot like do this (laughs) um so you don't list, link your Discord to Twitch. Here, well, here, you know what? Here's the uh, here's the Discord link you can click right now. That's to the main room, okay? And then from there, I'll make you my friend. And uh, yeah, we can do the voice chat that way. If you want in tonight, you know what I mean? If you don't, we can always do it some other time as well. Uh, dude, this is going to be so solid for the fans against Toronto. You can't wait. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? I'm interested because you're probably right. Well, maybe we sort this out right now. Maybe you come on and tell me. You know? <laughs> or are you all just going to like get me in a lot of trouble? Is that, what's, is that what I've gotten myself into now with this whole voice chat thing? Uh, oh, what didn't you say before you were Leo? Stanley, isn't that what you said before? Did I miss that earlier on in the chat? Who did you say? It is too, isn't it? It's you, Leo. Well, Leo's what you were going by before on on here. Yeah, that's you. Of course. Of course. Well, bless you for coming back, man. You have some company now. We got two subs going on. All right? Two subs going down already. So now you got some company, right? Spread the word. And yeah, dude, I can't wait. Dude, if you do this, if you do it now or don't do it now, whatever, it's totally good. Um, But seriously, I can't wait to have you on one of these things. Because you and I talk back and forth on Instagram so often, man. And, like, straight up, you always got funny things to say. So, like, I love it. Clips and highlights. Nope. Well, that's where people are. Yeah, but do the things, man. Do the invitations if you want in. Okay, cool. You want to come on? You want to ask me something? All right. All right. This is great. This is great. (laughs) Guys, this is what the show is going to turn into. Straight up. If it goes long enough, this is what we'll do. All right? Love it. Love it. Cooks Cooks loves it too with the fire in the chat. You know, I'm telling you, you know, like, honestly, I'm still living in the 90s, man. Like my kind of entertainment, the stuff I like is like straight up uh, um, 
no, uh, Leo, just add me as a friend. Okay, reach out to me as a friend invitation. I'll, I'll accept that. And then from there, we'll be able to call, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm living in the Stone Age, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's the point, right? So for me, this is all just still like, you know, watching some sort of like, I don't know, radio show that's live or something like that. The old uh, Howard Stern show or something, you know? Um, you wish you were born at the golden age of sports. I don't know if that was the golden age. I don't know. I mean, for me, my golden age doesn't involve any Stanley Cups from the Leafs, so... And he tells you, I'd rather have someone else's golden age than mine, right? Uh, Cooks is more vintage than me. You know what? Some of you guys really are. Some of you fellas and ladies out there that follow along, you are older than me. and that's, I love that. Oh, beast your boy, get over it. Absolutely. <laughs> Look, I never signed up to like this team for the sake of winning a bunch of Stanley Cups. Right? I, I swear to God, if, you, uh, if you're going to cheer for the Leafs, there's no way that you're sane enough to, uh, um, to, to, re like, to really be um, any other fan. You're not sane enough for that. If you're a Leafs fan, it's like you really do not care about wins or losses because you can't. In the long run, right? In the long run, like each game, each time, you can just look at it and go, well, that's, you know, I've seen it all. I've seen the, like, the worst the NHL has had to offer. And for glimpses, I've seen some of the best the NHL has had to offer through Toronto. Not many teams can say that. Not many teams can say my team was the absolute worst for a while. And then, uh, you know, I, the absolute best as well. But that's when you're around this long, that's what happens, right? So, you know, exactly. So I've been through the ups and downs of it, man. And that's exactly it. Like, you feel connected that way. Okay, I think we got. All right, here we go. Add friend. We got this. We got this. Oh! I just hope this works for next time next time because I will not be able to do it. Yo, yo. Yeah, yo, I can hear you. Everybody chat, you can hear him. Let me know. Let me let me turn your stream down for a second. Absolutely. State your name for the record officially, because I want to know what we can all call you, man. Because I've called you like five different things across two different platforms. Um yeah, just call me Lee, bro. Lee or Jadian. You you know me as Jadian. Yeah, Jadian, man. But yeah, Lee's cool too. I like that. Mm -hmm. So hey man, I just wanted to congrats you on getting Discord and, and figuring it out how to get it set up. <laughs> if, um, if you want to call it that, you know, yeah. I know it's gonna it's gonna be a minute for you to work it all out, but you'll get it, bro. You'll get it. Hey, <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah, I want to get your opinion. Yeah. Oh, I guess I should state for 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 the viewers, I'm not a Maple Leafs fan. No, he's I a Habs fan, guys. Me. I'm a Habs fan, but I do oh. support the Maple Leafs because they're a Canadian team. <laughs> As far as Beaster Boys Bruins, I mean, I can't, I can't really speak on them boys, bro. They, those guys are bums, man. The Boston yeah. bums. Yeah. But, um, I, we call them the Boston Bruins. I want to get your opinion. Yeah. I want to get your opinion on right. the hit with uh, Dubé on Cock and the Emmy. Um, I just want your opinion on it, man, because this has been like a huge thing in the league as far as like you know head hits and and. You know okay. what is and what isn't a, a a a hit to the head, right? Um, and I'm just interested in different people's opinion. You know me; I'm an unbiased hockey fan. I'm not like yo. He's straight legit, Habs guys. I don't know if you know this. On the toes of Montreal. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's like us. He's like he's a diehard fan of his team, but he ain't here to be like everything my de team does is awesome and your team sucks at everything. That's not what this is. So, yeah, Leo, uh, yeah. Lee. Um, so JDN, let me tell you. Okay, when it comes to any kinds of hits to the head, that whole situation, doesn't matter if it's any example that you bring up, okay? Uh, my opinion is always the same now, okay? Um, I've grown with the game enough to realize that if we want these guys to continue at the speed and strength that they play at, then the hits got to get toned back a little bit because they can't... You can't have guys only playing for like eight years and then having to retire because they're so banged up, right? Because right. then you're, you're basically sacrificing your life and for what, right? Um... You're not going to get paid long enough for that to be able to retire on that alone. So uh, if we want these guys to continue playing at this speed and strength, they got to tone down the, the the hits a little bit. I hate to say it because I love the hits, but they're much bigger, much stronger, much faster now. And when it comes to hits to the head specifically, the most important thing is that like if you're the hitter, you have to make it well known that you did not aim for the head. There are hits right now that I've seen even go down this year, previous seasons where they do hit the guy in the chest, but it's right under the chin. Basically like the sternum, you know what I mean? And if you get hit there, that head snaps forward, and the first thing it does is get popped by your shoulder or, or by your helmet. 
And that's that's a hit to the head. I know it's not a hit to the head, but that head got crushed by that hit and it didn't have to happen. When all you had to do was aim about six to 10 inches lower and drive them right through that logo. I like the hip check that we saw the other night there. Who was that, the Ranger? I forget who. Do you know Jadian? Um, I, I, I know what you're talking about, but no, I don't remember the player. Yeah, no, I neither do I, but I saw I the highlight. I did see it, though, in a, in a highlight. I didn't, I didn't watch the game, obviously, but yeah. Yeah, I saw it, and I had to comment on it, because I was just like, I miss hits like that. Because what people don't realize is if you haven't been hit like that, okay, you don't realize that that hurts less than a hit to the head. By far. In fact, that usually, at that speed, hurts less than a shot to the chest legally. Because the, the chest is where your heart, your lungs, all that stuff is, right? You know, you're breathing, you might catch, they might catch you breathing out, so you, you know, you lose your wind for a second. Uh, hits to the chest can be brutal at high speed, for the clean ones even. Um, yeah. th that a hip check, all that really does is toss you head over heels. Like, it, it usually slows you down, because it kind of, you kind of like roll over their body, rather than slam into it and then have to bounce the opposite way. Right? It's, it's the reverse imp uh, motion after the impact that really causes the injury because then your head is snapping, right? When you get hit right. like a hip check, you roll over the guy. We used to do it to each other in, this, in, the, in the playground for winter soccer, like, uh, you know, as kids. You'd run at a guy yeah. and then he'd hip check you. You'd go flying and it's like, but you're fine because you just rolled, right? Right, right. Yeah, so I mean, yeah. Just to, just to kind of touch, like, I, I see Beaster, he's saying, how are you going to be able to go for those? I mean, these players, man, like, they know, you know, and, and not only that, but if you look at the yeah yeah how how Dubé came in, he had plenty of time to adjust. Yeah, he, he had uh, plenty of time to to not do that. Absolutely, um, absolutely. And Beaster, Beaster Boy got a, pen, a penalty for roughing. <laughs> out yeah, of all that. Yeah, I mean, I had to kind of laugh at it. But, <laughs> yeah. uh, to touch on some Leaf stuff, I'm glad Anderson is uh, is getting some recognition. I've always been a, a huge advocate for Anderson. You yeah, know, I, I think that he doesn't get as much respect as, as he deserves. He's he's a solid netminder. Yeah, I mean, there's not much he can do when the defense aren't are you know on their exactly game or, or exactly. They're, just, uh, they're they're you know basically ignoring their jobs in front of the net. Mm -hmm. um, so it's good to see Anderson. I mean, with the shots that he faced, uh, you know, do as well as he did. I mean, yeah, you guys lost in overtime, but you know, sometimes that's just the way it that's, goes. Yep. Right? It was a solid game all around. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Big props to Anderson. Big props for the team. The the team's playing good, man. You know, Dude, uh, I, I looked the other day uh, and like your team and my team look like they're in a race to win this whole division. And I'm like, where are we living? Yeah, like, isn't that crazy? I was saying that on the pickups, though. Like, you yeah. know, the Habs fans at the beginning with the Anderson trade, they're all like, oh, who the hell's that guy, bro? <laughs> yeah. Like, man, like, you guys need to, you know, go back and, and maybe look at some of the games that, that he played for CBJ. It's it's online. It's not hard to find, guys. Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> you know, uh, so that yep. was a great pickup. I'm glad that he's panning out the way that he is. Obviously, Perry is... I wasn't expecting much from Perry because he is, you know, kind of on the decline a little bit. Yeah. But he is a good player. Like, he's a great player. You know, not not just good. He is a great player. Yeah. Um, he always finds... He's a winner. You know, I guess that's that's the best way to... to Some guys are. Some guys... Perry. So, like, it's been solid. You know have you ever... a big surprise, though? What? In all of our pickups, Ryan? What? Edmondson, bro. Oh, you like him, eh? Edmondson? Uh, no, I, like, I... I, th I th I'm impressed with him, bro. Because yeah. it's not like he was brought here to, to, you know, obviously put up points or whatever. I just wasn't too, like, educated on on his defensive play. Yeah. And just his his ability to get in, in, in the shot lanes the way that he does. He has a, good, he has a great stick. These are just yeah. things that I, I kind of, uh, I wasn't aware of when he came into Montreal. So he's, he's definitely been, been a huge uh, surprise. Yeah. Uh, to, Very to cool. Foley was an amazing pickup. Yeah, blue and white. You're, you're definitely right about that. To Foley, I knew Toffoli was going to be good, though, because yeah. Toffoli. Like, yeah, I mean, that's a name that's well, been I thrown around for a while. I know that guy. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> I know that name. Him, you know, with the Kings, he was solid. He yeah. went into Vancouver. He didn't really get to do much. But I always knew he was going to be a good player. But yeah, man, definitely stoked for Toronto and, and how they're doing right now. We're not yeah. seeing uh, we're not seeing the the critical mistakes that were so common before with the Leafs. Yeah, high risk, high reward, sense. and they weren't getting rewarded in those past seasons, right? And it's like, well, then you're giving up high risk and you're losing goals. Like that's not good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's still obviously there's mishaps in games. It's it's all situational, but I just feel like they they've been a um, a lot cleaner start this season out so hopefully they can keep that going 
but the, yeah. the games between our teams are going to be definitely something to marvel at, man. Yes, sure. like it, I, it's like for the first time in a long time, I, I think if ever, I want your team to do well because I want to squash you, and I want to do it at a time <laughs> at a time when your team is doing well because historically, since I've been alive. Either the Habs are hot or the Leafs are hot. They're never both hot, and they never meet up in the playoffs. I don't think I've been alive to see the Habs and the Leafs in an official playoff round ever. You know? Um. Yeah. No, I, we haven't because I, we were in say? the West. We were in the West when I was first born, right? Um. Yep. So you were in the East. We were in the West. The only chance we ever had to meet up was in the um was in a Stanley Cup final, which almost happened in '93. Beast your boy. I'm sorry. I'm not letting it go. <laughs> I'm bringing it up again, but we're here. We are like, you know what I mean? Like that was the year that was the closest we ever came to facing off in the playoffs since I've been alive. You know, because yeah. even even when Toronto finally joined the East again, it's always been either Montreal is looking great and a real cup contender, and the Leafs are at the bottom trying to figure out themselves, or the other way around. We haven't been good at the same time, right? I've always been very critical. Yeah, no, for sure, we we definitely haven't. It's. The Habs are usually on their, you know, we did that, uh, what was it, like nine years in a row, nine seasons in a row where we were on our playoff stint, but yep. Toronto was just absolute garbage at that point. Yeah. Like they had nothing going for them. Their system yeah. was a little bit kind of, while well, their farm system was a little bit weak and then they started picking up some, some uh, obviously some talent. I'm still very critical of, of some <laughs> of your guys' talent though. Like, you know, Mark. Oh, sure, sure. He's a great player. I, I think that he just needs to invest himself more into the lifestyle of hockey. Um, right. I, I think I talk, I spoke with you about when Ar uh, when when Marner was down here for the Memorial Cup, and just like the lack of discipline outside of the the rink and stuff, um, uh -huh. was a big joke, man, to me. Now, obviously, that's juniors. He's he's pro now. He's you know he's grown. Um, mm -hmm. I would just like to see him invest a little bit more. You can tell out there. Sometimes he's really slouchy. Still, I don't like that. You know, yeah. um, Matthews is Matthews. You know, he scores great goals. He, I, I think that, that he's a great player. He's definitely an elite player. Um, right. Don't see too many mistakes from him, but the mistakes that I do see, I'm very critical because, again, it's, it's Austin Matthews. Right. Uh, Tavares. Oh, my God, man. Like, he, I mean, okay now, but it's like, what the heck was he doing, you know, like, <laughs> last season towards the end of it? You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. that was a disappointment. Because I was a little bit upset that you guys even got Tavares. I was like, that's ah. he didn't give us a chance to interview him, man. No, you, you didn't. Uh, you know, I think like, you were the only team that didn't have a chance at him. He would never have done that, I yeah, don't think. Yeah, he, he, he would have never have done that. Yeah. He never have done that. He was a loyal Leafs fan to the, to the <laughs> fullest. But uh, yeah. uh, I'm pretty critical of your guys' forward group. It, it's obviously it's a solid forward group. It's supposed to be a crazy forward group. So I'm interested just as much as you are to see how yeah. we can do now that we actually have a forward group in Montreal you know what uh, mean, we've went yeah sorry what go ahead no you should sure. no, no I want to hear it you went where oh I mean we in, in Montreal like we went yeah with you know out of forward core for time dude it, it's literally been torture for us like back when Carey Price and you, you know this is why you're a fan of Carey Price back when he was literally carrying our oh team. for seasons in a row and uh I'm just like, man, if we had a forward core, like, yeah. you know, who who knows what, what could have possibly happened, you know, especially in 2014. And then we got caught with the Crider slider. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, so it's going to be interesting, man, now that we have a forward core and you guys have a forward core. And it's not like our forward cores have been together for, you know, a whole lot of time. I mean, you guys have been together, obviously, a lot longer than, than my Montreal, but not that much longer. I guess I shouldn't say a lot longer, but you, right. know, you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. So it'll be interesting, man. It's going to make for amazing hockey for sure. Definitely I'm better than so the stuff pumped that we're for seeing it. in the states right now. Yeah, like so. you know what I mean. I and for one season, for one season, whoever comes out ahead in this thing, whether it be us or whether it be uh, Vancouver or hell, who knows? Ottawa, maybe. You never know. The, things happen in the NHL. Whoever comes out with this, right, whether you win a cup or not, you get to say we had the best team in Canada that year, you know? Because in the playoffs, yeah. you can win a cup in the Stanley Cup playoffs and not be the best team in the league. I'm sorry, but it's fact, and that's what I actually love about it. It's not a, it's not a bad thing because the playoffs is a different animal, and sometimes you just got to be good for, what is it, 20, uh, 28 games? 
What am I saying here? No, four, eight, twelve, six, sixteen games. I was thinking about all seven. Sixteen games, yeah. Sixteen games. What the heck, man? I know. So, games. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about all seven for each. No, you only have to be good for sixteen yeah, yeah. games to win a cup, which does not mean that you're the best in the league, but it means you were the hardest working. You had the mental edge on everybody. So in a way, you're a, you're a champion without being the most, let's say, the most skilled rather than the best, right? Right. So we get to look at it and go. Yeah, I mean, whoever wins this is a regular season champ. Yeah, man, and I, I totally agree with you. You don't have to be the best team to win a Stanley Cup. That's what makes the playoffs so like, I don't know. It, it just like it makes it so edgy for like a lot of teams, you know. Obviously, yeah. you have the the powerhouse teams that go in and they're the favorites, you know, like Tampa. But look how long it took Tampa to do it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it took them forever, man. And they have they have a star studded squad, man, from the goaltender out. Yep. You know, like it's, so it's pretty crazy how that stuff works out, oh, right? Oh. I just love this game so much because like just there's always good storylines there's always good drama happening right like uh, as long as you remember that when your team is is at the top of it remember that their day is coming to be at the bottom so you know what I mean you try and be uh, as nice to people as you can on the way up so that uh, the ride on, on the way down isn't so bad and I, I tr trust me I don't care who you cheer for your day is coming to be at the bottom of the league for several years it will happen eventually and when it does you better hope you weren't going around cramming it down other people's throats that you won this you won that you know what i mean um <laughs> a little bit of you know yeah. we we joke around and we have fun that's totally cool but you know what i mean all that volatile stuff like you got to check that because like it's coming back to you so watch out right and now yeah. we got all the canadian team fans together and it's like it's not as hostile i haven't had the the the, the pure hostility from people on Instagram right now um, about my post because it's usually Canadians and stuff, right? Like, <laughs> right. Well, I mean, Canadians, you know, I mean, this is like a religion to us, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. This, yeah. Is a, this is a human right, you know, for, for us. That's yeah. why, like, uh, a bunch of people. Are you guys experiencing the blackouts? Uh, we had one this oh. morning. Yeah, we had one this morning. Man, that is such shite, eh? <laughs> like, come on, man. What, because like, it got get, cold? Get, I don't even know what happened. Get it together. People are yeah. paying these guys like a what, 180 bucks a month, and they're getting blacked out. Like, come on, man. You know what it was? That's, I think that's ridiculous. <laughs> you know what my theory was? You get away with that in the states, but you ain't gonna get away with it up here, man. Not well, in the north. Well, here, this is what went down, right? So, like, all those billionaires lost all that money, and they were really ticked. So, like, you know what? For eight hours, I get no power. I <laughs> shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it all at no, once because no, everyone will panic so just do small sections at a time eight hours at a time until everyone gets affected all right everyone's gonna pay us back that's what they did <laughs> yeah exactly i see a comment from from uh easter boy 14 again he says what's what's that the cried or slider yeah um explain you know, it you, you know explain what i'm talking him. about when i say cried or slider you gotta right? explain it to him you brought it up you gotta explain it L ljd he definitely has to know like he, he's saying that he's he's more uh, wiser than us so so <laughs> he has to definitely know what that means but if you don't know what that means beaster um i, I would encourage you to to youtube chris Kreider crashing into goaltenders and, and hurting them mm. and and i mean that guy has a whole highlight reel i think it's like 13 minutes long yeah. Of him just sliding into goaltenders, you know, like when he doesn't even need to slide into goaltenders, like he legit is known across many fan bases for just mm -hmm. purposely running into goaltenders for the New York Rangers back in the day. Mm -hmm. Man, was that ever upsetting that Lundqvist never won a cup there, hey? Oh, that's one of those things that, like, again, you know, um, maybe this is only that's a symptom. one of those things where loyalty bites you in your ass, bro. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, absolutely. And that's what I really hope that, uh, like, fans try to realize. Well, like, uh, for example, that whole Tavares thing. Loyalty only gets you so far in, the, in this league because it's a business and they will trade you in a heartbeat if they think that they're going to win a cup by doing so. So players yeah. who have stayed loyal stay around for teams that do rebuild after rebuild. They, they, they kind of half-ass because they're like, hey, we're selling out the, the, the arena. We don't have to worry about like being a championship team. People are coming in, so they don't try as hard. And then guys have their whole careers wasted for stuff like that. So the long fist thing uh, really hurts. Um, to see because you just want you know got to be rewarded for that but like in toronto i've seen it time and time again so like when i saw the islanders fans freaking out over about Tavares, i'm like dude we just you know we we had that happen to us literally the next year Kawhi leonard was like yo peace out toronto i won you a championship now shut up i'm going home and you know what i've applauded the guy i was like yeah dude like <laughs> you went home bro look what he did to the clippers though man like it's all good <laughs> right well yeah I mean, sorry as, as, as like i mean 
I, all my buddies back home in Toronto, I'm, I'm just like, how could you possibly believe that Kawhi was going to stay in Toronto? Yeah. Like, I get it. There's that little glimpse of hope, but yeah. just he wasn't staying there. He wanted to be in L.A. with his family, right? Like, yeah. yeah. You can give the guy at least that, but uh, that was... Um, <laughs> Yeah, that was a little uh, disheartening for a lot of a lot of the boys back home, man. When Kawhi didn't stay, I know. But like I, said, like I said, we just saw Tavares do it, right? And I'm like, I get that. It, it's different if they went somewhere for like three times the money. Then you can you can kind of be mad as a fan. But even then, I've seen that too with the Jays teams in the past. With um, you know, even Argos guys getting picked up to be brought back to the NFL and stuff. Sometimes, like this stuff happens to Toronto teams all the time. The Raptors, of course, the guy gets to come here. Right? Like Tracy McGrady back in the day, right? Vince Carter. Oh my goodness, what am I even saying? Right? Like, it, they put in a, lo a lot of good years for us here, even re sign once some of them, right? And we don't do yep. anything to get them a championship. And then an offer comes up, and they're like, yo, we want to we want to get you down here, man. Come down to New Jersey or come down to wherever, and I'll help you win. Like, how do you expect them to say no to that? It's, it's at some point an athlete's got to think about themselves and their careers and their families as right. well. The choice to go home is amazing. I, I totally love that choice. That's what you make a movie about and we all go, aw, and pay like 15 bucks to watch it, right? Like, that's a real story. So I love it. Yeah, it I, is. Right? It and is, it, it, is. If it When it happens to your I team, mean, it I, sucks, but you know, you got to get over it. Yeah, 100%. I mean, I, I look at that with, you know, a lot of hockey athletes, a lot of players that, that they stay loyal to the clubs that yeah. you just know that they're not going to win a cup there. You know, like it might be too early to say that McDavid won't win a cup with with Edmonton, but I'm thinking it too, it, though. I know what you mean. Uh, yeah, man. Like yeah. I'm just I'm at that point where it's like you know, I, I don't know how many more seasons he sticks around mm -hmm. until he's like, you know what? Trade yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. And yeah. If I'm not mistaken. I mean, people can correct me if I'm wrong, but but I think McDavid was a Montreal fan, so we'll, we'll have to see what happens there. You know. Really? Growing up in the Toronto area, he was a Montreal I, fan. Oh. I think so. I, I could be. I could be wrong, bro. I could be wrong. I I heard something <laughs> about it. It wasn't like something that was being like said like by somebody that I would look, consider dude, credible. I, look, I, I, dude, I can't I, remember the guy's name, but I remember it being said, and I'm like, what? Cause I said the same thing as you. I was like, didn't that guy like, you know, grow up around on, in, in Ontario? <laughs> like he should be a diehard, like Maple Leafs guy, right? Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, I've Let seen McDavid like at Erie Otters games when they lose, how frustrated he gets when they go on their little yeah. losing slides. Oh, that little clip you've seen so, around the internet so many times, just like, <laughs> he just freaks out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I'm I'm telling you here I'm I'm gonna do this and then I gotta I gotta get going. But uh, yeah, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, what are you doing? You get me in trouble? Don't be sending me any kind of links or something like that, man. I don't know how any of this no, works. No, 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 man. I'm you know I'm trying. Like I said, I'm working on that PG thing you were talking. about. <laughs> PG thirteen. I'm very clear uh, about okay, that. Okay, no, I, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. His his favorite team growing up was the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, okay. So McDavid, you know, who knows, bro? Maybe who knows? You guys can do a swap swap a roo with with Tavares or something like that you know and, and and get mcdavid wouldn't that be a dream right oh well you know what though like that's a, i have thought about that whole wasting uh wasting talents before that's why if you want a good example of someone who who can do what they what um who can be that loyal like look at taves and kane down in chicago like those guys if they want to stay in chicago for the rest of their careers they won their cups early they won multiples and they get to say I i'm a champion man i don't care if i ever win again I I I'm, I'm good and they can stay in the place that they started in and that's fine um so there is room in the game for that but certainly if you haven't won a championship it gets to a point where you're like do you guys even want one like why do you have me here you're selling my jerseys you're selling tickets because i'm here but like do you want to win because it doesn't look like yeah. it so yeah, I hear no, you, man. I'll, I'll let you go exactly. now. I know I'm kind of ranting. Uh, we went really long tonight, but uh, again, I'm, no, I just no, really... it's, it's all good. Yeah, no, I, I just, I'm so uh, happy I you're here, man. Congratulate. I'm I so happy you're here. You for getting it set up, man. This is ah, gonna be huge. It's gonna you know, be huge. It's right? gonna take some time, like everything does. But this is really good for for people who just want to come in. You know, discuss hockey. Hopefully, we get some unbiased people. But you know, what's gonna be really entertaining is when you get those those fans that just come in and they're just they're hardcore set man their team they're super biased like it's just, nobody on their team can do wrong like well ah, see yeah, i'm fine with that epic. i'm fine with that in the Indeed. actual chat like in the chat on on twitch and stuff honestly have at it because to me text always sounds silly all i do is it, no matter how mad someone sounds i just try to picture that they're high and all of a sudden what they say doesn't sound so mad anymore and you're like oh you know what maybe they're right. just trying to be funny you know and then i don't get mad 
So in the chat, I can handle it. And I think it's a lot funnier to just to read people's like outlandish comments and stuff like that. So I'm all for it. But in this thing, what do you think about the sub thing me being a sub exclusive for the voice chat? I'm not trying to be a criminal here. But like, yeah, I'm trying no, 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 no. I'm I, trying I, I to like. I think it's a good idea, you know. Like, right? some people are gonna look at it like, oh, you have to pay to talk to them, and it's like, you know what, man? It's it's seven bucks. It's yeah. less for people in the states, um, but like, you know, it it it's just for fun, man. You know. And like, it's like, why would you sub if, if there's nothing exclusive about it? You can't justify seven bucks for for a little bit of fun and and you know a little bit of entertainment. Uh, uh, I, I appreciate know, that. Nah, no, again, so I don't think I don't have a problem with it at all, man. I think it's a it's, it's a good idea. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, maybe have a day like there's things where you could work in, like maybe a day where it's just you, you talk to anybody, you know? Just yeah. Well, I'm thinking the Fridays, the Fridays that we do the video game stuff, right? Whether you play in the game with me or you just do a discord chat while I play, we could do that too, right? Yeah. Like Fridays can be the day where everyone's invited to just kind of speak their mind to me and everything like that. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, honestly, um, I think that's why we will set it up. But uh, yeah, no, I just feel like for subs you got to have some reason to sub if you if you didn't get anything special for doing that why would you i wouldn't so i'm just trying yeah. to give you guys a, a good reason to want to do it and i'm glad you came out man and i'm glad we had sidley out he really helped me work it out on the fly with you guys in the chat as well this has been nuts man what a great show ah thanks guys yeah, man this is gonna be this is gonna be awesome man and like i said you're you're a good dude to discuss hockey with uh just real quick before i leave yeah Beaster, just to clear that up i, I wasn't saying that the edmonton would want to swap to john Tavares. i was just saying like when does it boil over to a point with McDavid yeah. being as competitive as he is and, and yeah. as used to winning as he is? He likes to win. When does he ask for a trade from, from Edmonton? And if he does, you know, what happens, right? And the possibility of maybe doing a John Tavares. Um, yeah, by then Tavares would probably be retired. Something for, for, but, for McDavid or whatever. That, it was yeah. just a... I'm just I'm just brainstorming here. That's all, yeah. man. Yeah. Um. And yeah, you know how WWE and me for sure, man. But anyways, <laughs> Ryan, thank you very much, man, for having me on. This is Anytime, awesome. Jadian. Um, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. All right. Totally, bud. We'll talk, totally. We'll talk, we'll talk more hockey next time. I, I got I got some stuff that I got to do though. Sweet. All right, man. Well, good luck to you out there in the real world and stay safe, brother. Yeah. Yeah. You too, bro. Peace. 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 There you have it, guys. Oh, my goodness. Discord, we're doing it. It's real. It's a thing. It materialized tonight. All right. So, yeah. Oh, man. What are you guys even saying in the chat here before? Uh, yeah. How WWE of us to do it PG-13? Hey, look. You know, it's because I have kids, man. Until my kids get to rated R level content, I'm staying away from it. You guys can say whatever you want because I can always just choose not to show that to my kids. But if I'm doing it all the time, I can't show them anything. So... I'm doing it for me and, and my family. I'm not criticizing anyone who comes on here with F-bombs and all kinds of other stuff. Trust me. I just won't show them that one. It's fine. Right? You be you. I'm going to be me. And when my kids get a little older, I'm really going to be me. And you guys are going to love that. All right? Uh, but to all you in the chat, man, thanks for making this happen. Thanks to the subs for coming along now and being able to do the voice chat thing. Oh, it's going to be so good. And uh, I'll, I'll try and figure out that thing. We'll do the group chat better. We'll sort it out better. All right? Maybe I'll reach out to some of you guys. Um, but I love it. I love it. All right. There it is. Big L tonight. But for us, a huge, huge double W. Okay. Win, win. A win here, a win there. Right. Charlie Sheen styles. What? <laughs> all right. Stay safe out there, guys. And uh, I'll, I'll be seeing you soon. Okay. After the next Leafs game, you know where to find me. All right. Every time. Okay. You don't even have to come on the Instagram thing when I set that thing off. You can just show up and be like, I know where it's at. Right. I'm just going. Okay, guys. Peace. Hi kids, do you like Primus? No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously though, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's gonna be a wild leaf season, and you don't wanna miss any of the action with us, cause we're going for that 1000 sub marker, and I'm not stopping till I get there. Or maybe I will, bye!